What's up guys, Marjack79 here. Let me start off by saying that I usually don't cover non-confirmation or just rumors on this channel, but this one is seeming to be getting a ton of steam right now, and honestly, it looks legit, man. So we all know that Vegeta has been training on Beerus, the god of destruction, for the past few manga chapters. Um, he's getting ready to take on Granola in chapter 74, Vegeta versus Granola. Um, this potentially could be the new form that Vegeta has gained from his training with Beerus. So I'm very excited to you know, find out if this form is true. Came through from a guy by the name of Re of Redon, I believe his name is. He has been a very cred credible source for uh, leaks in the Dragon Ball manga. So this is his most latest one, and it looks like it could potentially be the real thing, man. So let's really dissect this form here. So you can already see, starting off at the top, that the hair is kind of a darker purplish blue um obviously i mean the picture is black and white but if i had to take a guess i mean it's not a blue it's not a navy blue i think it's more purple than blue probably gonna have the god of destruction aura which is purple ar around him all of the gods of destruction have this the next thing you're, you're gonna notice is the god of destruction earring that is that was given to him by Beerus right before they left for the battle. Yes, I am. I do follow my Dragon Ball. <laughs> he did not gain that earring just from the transformation. Beerus gave that to him. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, and then next, we're going to notice probably the most standout of the transformation is the eyebrow poke out bones that looks exactly like the eyebrows from Super Saiyan 3. Why does God of Destruction Energy give you Super Saiyan 3 eyebrows? I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's this actually might be the one part of the transformation that kind of makes me raise an eyebrow like, hmm, is this legit? Or is this not legit? I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, eh. But then, you know, the eyes themselves, the pupils, looks exactly like the Ultra Instinct eyes. But even looking at that, we've never seen a God of Destruction, you know, showcase having Ultra Instinct eyes because they don't utilize that power. So, again, that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense either. I guess maybe just a way to differentiate himself from the other gods of destruction, I guess, but even Topo, a god of destruction and training, did not have these pupils at all. So another thing that just kind of makes me raise an eyebrow as well, like, is this really legit or is this just something that somebody has created just to get some clout? But, you know, like I said, it's blowing up on Twitter. It's currently blowing up on Facebook. I'm going to help it blow up on YouTube. We, I mean, we have a few more days to, like, see if it's true or not. Then, of course, yeah, Vegeta has also gained more muscle definition. He kind of looks like Super Vegeta from the Cell Saga to me, if I'm being honest. Because, you know... The Super Saiyan Blue form, I feel like they all got skinnier when they reached their deity forms. I mean, that's Goku and Vegeta both. But it looks like, you know, putting this God of Destruction energy into himself, he has gained his more muscle-masked version of himself, like I said, a.k.a. to the uh, Super Saiyan transformation, like the Super form that he had in the Cell Saga. So, how do I feel about it? It's... Not my favorite. Eh, I just, you know, man. And even like the Super Saiyan Blue forms. I mean, they're they're okay. Just, you know, just nothing, anything, anything special. I mean, the gain in power is cool, but I feel like the original Super Saiyan transformation will always be my personal favorite. That's what made me really solidify myself as always being a Dragon Ball fan. I do like Ultra Instinct. Yeah, I feel like that has a very cool look to it. But maybe I just need to see this form in action to see what it's capable of to make my final judgment call. Hopefully the uh, somebody, you know, is able to bring this into an anime form so that we can really get a feel of the form. But, you know, I'm excited about it, you know, so it's tough to make a judgment call when we just have these pictures and we don't even know if it's legit or, or not yet. You know, a lot of people on Facebook are saying it's definitely the real thing. I'm on the fence about it still. I don't know if it's legit or not. 
So we have, this is the dude, Redon, he said, according to him, the translation is related to God of Destruction Powers. I mean, like I said, that's obvious. He's been training with Beerus. His hair is dark, uh, has no eyebrows, eyes are like Ultra Instinct, has a muscular body, but aura around his body. So, I mean, like I said, looks cool, but uh, I just, I don't know. I'm 50-50 right now, man, truly. I'm definitely... 50-50. Even this other guy right here says to just take it with a grain of salt. We do not know if this form is true yet, but I mean, the manga chapter comes out in a couple of days. The leaks always come out for every chapter. Um, I don't know why it would be any different here. So, I mean, if I had to take an educated guess, it's probably legit. So what I want to know now is how do you guys feel about it? Feel free to post in the comments below, Facebook and on YouTube. So how do you feel about it? Do you think it sucks? Do you like it? I want to know about it, man. Let's let's talk about it. Post it in the comments, man. Let's have an open, honest discussion. I mean, are you transformation tired from Dragon Ball like I am? I'm, I'm honestly tired of all the new forms, man. I wish they would really focus more on just the fighting ability of the characters instead of giving us the all these new transformations to be completely honest if this is a new transformation i mean i feel like it really needs to be the final one for the dragon ball super manga i mean i understand that they're trying to sell toys action figures so on and so forth that's how they make their money but you know, for story-wise, I think it just needs to end, and they need to refocus on story, man. And that's going to do it for me here, man. I've talked about this enough. So, as always, if you like the video, hit that like button. Uh, hit that subscribe button. You know where to follow me on the YouTube. I'm on Facebook, Marjack79, Instagram, Twitter. Hit the notification bell icon so that you know whenever I drop a new video. We talk about all the new Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Super Manga anime information here, so on and so forth. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.